so hopefully this will be our first podcast we actually upload. Hopefully. We're going to talk about our um, review on Alien Covenant that we saw, what? A couple days ago we saw opening night. Okay. Yep. Uh, David, Ryan, my name's Alex. Actually, you probably don't even know my voice yet. Right. Um, So, what did we think? All right, David, you want to go ahead and go first since you're the one that uh, yeah. was fancy enough and wrote a review on your blog tonight. I really did, yeah. <laughs> so I really enjoyed the beginning. It was amazing science fiction, and I love the fact that we're introduced to new characters. But uh, I felt that the middle was mostly exposition because mm. you have to retract and see what happened in Prometheus. And then... The ending happened, and it was basically like alien isolation, like yeah. the video game. It's like, okay, that's cool, but then you realize, after the movie like passes, you realize what happened, and not a lot did happen. I'm going to go into more of that, but what do you guys think? It makes sense. Um, Ryan, by the way, just so we get used to the voices, oh, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, dude, I thought it was really good. Um, I love the fact that... I don't think he planned on it, but I love the fact that it felt like a Prometheus sequel, but he wanted to add yeah. his alien aspect into it. Because right. kind of like me and you talked about the other day, David, I think he originally wanted to do more movies like Prometheus. And then Fox, or I forget who fucking owns the movies right now, yeah, were like, yo, people shitted on Prometheus, they love your aliens, and your next one, you have to do aliens yeah. with it. Yeah. And that's action. why we got this... Both movies in one, right? It's sort of like a mixture or a fusion of Prometheus. I think they did it in the first movie because at the very end of Prometheus, they have the alien fucking mouth, right? Like just had five seconds of alien, and that was kind of like a fan service. Yeah, they never talk about it again. They never show it again. It was, yeah. And that's one of the things about Alien Covenant is that it has little, what's the word for it? Spurts of like, uh. Prometheus in it, but it's not a full-on Prometheus sequel, which I think is what they were going for. Right. But uh, it tried too hard to be fan service for alien people. What did you guys think about the main character? If she was the main character, she's I, she's definitely the main character. Okay. They um, they yeah. did the same thing this time and made it the the strong female role. Yeah. Um. I, I love that in the alien movies. By, yeah, by the way, female role. go to IMDb, look her up, dude. She's fine. Is she fine? Because I don't think she's all no, that attractive in these movies. I didn't think she, do, do it right now. I did not think she was like happy long either. hair or like short hair. She has long hair. Okay. Oh, okay. Long, long hair makes sense. I'm look this shit up. Yeah, the long hair makes sense. <laughs> but no, like Alex said, I definitely enjoy the strong female, the strong female leads. Um, I just wished. I don't know. It's kind of like we talked about the other night, man. It just literally feels like he was like, okay. Let's make everybody happy and Covenant felt like fucking Alien 1. Yeah. To where, like, she's like, no, don't do it. Look at that. What did she do? Oh, wow. What the fuck, right? Get out, right? Right. Wow, all right. But, like, (laughs) the exact same thing with uh, Ripley. Can't allow you in. I'm the logical fucking thinker. This is a dumb decision. Yeah. And then he's like, yeah, oh, yeah. you're a female. I'm not listening to you. Yeah. We're going to go anyways. And that? we get there, and she's like, told you so. Alien 1, told you so. Like, you, you know, when you think about it, she is like Ripley, as in the sense of everybody around her is really dumb, even though there's, like, females in it. You yeah. know, first Alien movie, bunch of dumb guys. There's right. one guy there, was a, there was a dumb girl in there, but yeah, she was, like, girl. fucking screaming the whole time. What was the guy from the first one named Daniels? Daniel. He's the guy that you thought was the, the male protagonist, but he ended up not The captain. Being, the captain. The There's captain. a captain in this yeah. movie that is basically him. Right. Right. The ca- our captain oh. was in Covenant. You, you, we watched Prometheus before we went to go see it. You remember right. the um, uh, the captain of the Prometheus ship, that black guy? Idris Elba? Yes, the yeah. one that was like really, really... Um, what's the word for it? He Shot was what? smart. So smarter than what he led on. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. He That's definitely what had Danny McBride knowledge. is yeah. in Alien Covenant. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So I I did I think he did an awesome job in this movie. I was kind of worried that he was gonna not worried. I love Danny McBride and anything he plays. Right. And, yeah. But like 
it, him being really, really funny. I thought he was just going to be the he was kind of be the crazy, crutch, yeah, you com- know what I mean? comedic relief. Right. Yeah. You know, there's a strange feeling with these movies, <clears throat> is that we're never going to really understand what the engineers are. You know what I mean? Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. That's, that's that's the, the hard sad part. Thing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's definitely the hard part. Just kind of. I'm guessing. Over that. Yeah. I'm guessing his third one is what's going to go into that. Yeah. Because, you know, we got fucking shit. Yeah. For information of the engineers and everything else in this. Honestly, and we only got like one scene. Right. One it was scene, it was, it was, all it was them scene dying with David and, and them that. dying. Yeah. That's a, that that scene kind of hurt. But the biggest thing that hurt was um the girl being killed in this one, but you don't it's it's outside of the camera, so you don't know how she died. Yeah, oh, Shaw. Shaw. Yeah. Shaw, you don't yeah. really understand. And it's like, "Oh no, yeah. that's what Alien 3 did." Right. But see that budget. that that was I loved everything else but the small details like that. Yeah. Like I would have loved to have found out why and how Shaw died. Because mm-hmm. technically even if you know like we know it's been 10 years since they left the Prometheus planet and we saw them leave on the ship. Yeah. So right. they said David has been marooned on this planet yeah. for 10 years doing his experiments and all that shit. And then which is cool by the way. That's right. A, that's a cool yeah. subplot. And it was like, okay, cool. Well, Sean, Shaw was, Shaw died here, and mm-hmm. then he worked on her. Right. Or did he kill her to work on her? But then he talked about how he loved her, and he has a shrine for her, and all this shit. Mm-hmm. But then at the same time, if it is confirmed, which I don't remember, like, how in the hell did he keep her fucking open body preserved on the table? I know, it's just yeah. there. Yeah. True like that. it looks, it, it looked very recent to me because yeah. I mean, as a cadaver, it's not going to stay like that even yeah. on an alien planet because technically this is literally like Earth two because they can walk around without it's fucking so helmets yeah. and everything, so it's going to do habitat wise the exact same thing. It's going to decay a body like it normally would. At least more than like LV two two six they were on in Prometheus, right? But because that one was yeah. a little more hostile than this one. Like, there were so many, like, alien, uh, like, I want to say fetuses, but, like, little bodies of, like, the omnimorphs, the little yeah. ones that were running around. I like those. <laughs> yeah. Dude, those were yeah. badass. Yeah, those were the best part. But, like, he had a whole bunch of those in his study and everything, and I was thinking, where did those come from? And then I remember there was animals on... Right. Well, we don't we don't know if there no, was animals, I, but... I'm guessing... Yeah. But, like, I would like been. to see a little bit more variety of... What happened to the birds? What right. happened to the small yeah. creatures or anything that would have happened to be on that planet? Um, I felt that uh, Ridley Scott's uh, second you know, script for this movie, I feel like we were going to see what happened to David when he left, when they left in the first movie, Prometheus. We were going to actually go with them. They're going to be the characters in this movie, but right. we got to get another crew. And the crew is going to have to die. Right. Like the crew before, and the crew before, and the crew before. <laughs> right. <laughs> True that. Uh, that's... So, out of everything you guys can think of, what was your, like, most favorite thing, other than uh, Michael Fassbender as David and Walter? Uh, We won't go into that, because everybody Uh, loves that, but, like, (laughs) story-wise, what was, like, your biggest, like, oh, shit, that is dope? Story-wise or just scene? Scene and story-wise, I guess. Whatever that you're watching it and you're like, holy shit, this is totally worth sitting here right now. Like, this is what I wanted. My, I think my favorite part, honestly, is when the two people who got infected, one person who was smoking in the forest, right, and then yeah. the other one was, what, the guy with the beard? It was the guy with the beard. Yeah. yeah. Um, And, like, how they kind of both fell at the same time, and the aliens popped out of them at the same time. And they were in that huge, like, uh, field. Right. And all of them were just running towards them and stuff. You see people's heads getting knocked off and shit. Um, very gruesome, gory. I love the gore in this movie. Um, but I think that was probably my favorite scene for it. Especially the, the arrival of the new aliens. Right. I felt that um, <clears throat> the Covenant being uh, hovering above the planet and them going down and them being separated. Like, two teams are separated and they don't know what's happening. That was really interesting. And also, um, the wheat. What the, what the fuck is wheat? You know, no one ever talks about that. But what does that mean? What does that mean for Earth? It, 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 no, what it literally meant, it was just... I think they put the wheat thing in there just to get us hyped, like, for the trailers. Yeah. Because yeah. it was just a small thing. Like, even the scene with the whole... There's no sounds or whatever bullshit. Yeah. But, like, it, it was literally for us to go, Oh, shit, they are on a planet that David's on. And that Shaw were on. Right. Because they had to land... And literally fucking survive. 
Oh, that makes so sense. So they okay. planted the wheat and everything. So, and thought, that was just his way of saying this is that planet. Because I was thinking maybe the engineers created agriculture and shit. For no, 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 no. Yeah, like, it's, yeah, it's definitely implied that it was David and Shaw that planted the wheat. There. When, when you think about that, though, David said that Shaw died on impact. Right, he was lying. Mostly. He was. He, but he if did there say was, was wheat and he's an android, he can't eat just wheat. Well, I mean, he does eat. Never mind. Right, that might. Be but he I said the, the whole Shaw dying on impact was um, to trick them. Right, he didn't want to tell them she died because of some sinister reason, which ass. is looked towards more <laughs> that he kills. Her. I love how evil he got. He man. is very evil. Yeah, yeah, really wicked. Um, my yeah. favorite part, I would say. Mm. Fucking A. I don't know, man. I enjoyed fucking most of it. Yeah, it's pretty good. To be honest, just like I told you, Alex, it was about time I fucking... I loved them actually doing the whole Predator style and showing me the view of the alien walking down. That was great. Right. Like, through its eyes. Because, like, oh, you can see yeah. that it, it, like, it sees, but it has, like, a almost like a bug lens yeah. mm-hmm. type thing. And because like that was the most terrifying part about like the old predators and stuff is like you see it from their eyes and it's like heat signatures. And you're like, and, like oh shit, you're like oh get it. shit, like yeah. that was dope. I, wish I that, really um, enjoyed that. I shit. wish that sequence would have lasted a little longer. The the on the ship on part. The ship yeah, me awesome. too. It was it was very very fast. Yeah. Mm, I I guess it was like an alien isolation thing because I was just thinking I wish they kind of moved it where he was like crawling on the walls and stuff. Yeah. Have you ever played an Alien vs Predator game? Knowing right. that they can go on yeah, every they can surface. Go on every surface. Um, right. But if it's just creeping up like Alien Isolation style, I get that. Yeah, yeah, I got that too. But yeah, it, that was pretty awesome. Something we've never seen in Alien. Yeah. Movie. Because like I was oh. hyped because like you know like the other we were hyped for the Neomorph and stuff like that. So yeah. I was excited to see more of something new of their abilities pretty mm-hmm. much and I really enjoyed that yeah that was pretty great so what did you guys think about the ending or did you have a question David I was going to uh, say we're going to do ratings but the we'll do the we'll do it I feel like the the ending was really good <laughs> I liked the ending how the way he kind of tricked them and he's like sh- shushing her and shit. right <laughs> yeah <laughs> not <laughs> ass <laughs> I enjoyed it, but at the same time, man, it, I think it was me and you, Alex. I don't remember. I've read so much shit since Friday, and I've talked to you about so much shit since Friday. Right. I really wish it would have been Walter, because yeah. I really hoped Walter had like. I don't want to say infect. I don't know, David infecting Walter, but David making Walter realize they're more than just oh, androids and tools and yeah. to have Walter from now on continue David's legacy. That's what David started. Oh, shit, that's a great That would have been fucking amazing. But he, then it was just like, oh, it was David. He pretty much What was their Walter relationship? What, what, she kept saying this thing with him about this, this field or something. And he'd be like, yeah, like he would respond. And she right. Know. He right. should have responded. And we know it's Walter. Yeah. And then he just sends her to sleep and just fucking put this alien in there. I, yeah, I, like the, I like the realization where she's like, you're going to help me build my cabin? And you see that doubt yeah. on oh, his face. And, and then like, when, like it hits that's her. when it hits her and that's when you're realizing yourself. It was predictable. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But yeah. um, I love David as a character. I love how evil he got. I love how... Uh, some people thought it was really weird about him like kissing Walter and doing some fun. of the stuff he did, but I understand that because he's an android feeling human emotions. Right, so he so, has no idea technically what he's doing. Almost. Right. So, David, out of your ratings, are we going to do this out of 1 through 5 or 1 through 10? What did you want to do? Fuck. Do you want to go ahead and go off of your blog, 1 through 5? Well, let's do an X-Play version. Like, X-Play. <laughs> yeah, let's do the X-Play thing. It's like... Wait, how do they do it? Like four star, five stars out of okay, yeah, something out of Go five, ahead. yeah, yeah, something yeah. out of five. Go ahead, David. What would you, what would you give it? I'll give it three xenomorph eggs out of five. <laughs> I hate you. Um, as a sequel, I'll give it a four. Four, all right. Out of five eggs, I yeah, think get, get uh, four eggs out of five. Do the eggs. Alex, do it, man. <laughs> I'm gonna give it four David kisses out of five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. That, well, that was our review for Alien Covenant. Great movie. Good movie. Uh, Michael Fassbender's the man. Yes, he he's it. amazing. Six. All right, guys. We'll see you later.